Hello everybody, welcome back to Survival and Stuff, and today I am going to be showing you my paracord sling here. Um, so as you can see, this is probably, you can see this is homemade. Um, this is a great sling, um, and I'll just basically be going through how I made it. So let's start on this end. First of all, as you can see, I just did the regular root loop and then knot here. Um, that's just the basic knot right there. Then on this side, I also did a knot. This isn't anything special. I basically just tied it together a bunch of ways. This isn't some sort of special knot. So, and I know you can do sp certain ones. So, just a knot on the other end. And, and I'll show you how to use both of these if you don't know how to or how to throw it at the end of the video. Um... But, um, let me think here, uh, I recommend the, from this, from the patch here to one of the ends, I'd say it's probably about, I recommend it being about probably, I'd say, oh, one and a half feet, about one and a half feet, um, so, yeah, I think one and a half feet, um, I'm also a kid, so it's gonna be a little bit smaller, but, yeah, basically one and a half to two feet. Okay, and then as we get to the patch here, um, this is very easy actually. So just go to how to make an easy uh, uh, sling, paracord sling, and then a video will pop up and it'll show you how how to make one where there's all this is the same. And then you tie these certain knots at the end. There's one strand of paracord here one here and one here and I had that for a while and that but stuff was kind of falling through the strands I was like and eh, I'll up I'll uh you know upgrade it or whatever so I basically just took paracord tied it to one end and went in and out of all these so I'd go all right here I'd go over I'd go and then under this one and then over again then turn it around and then go under over the middle one and then over again and just do that process and then I ended up with this which is very nice this sling is very good um, it's quite easy actually um, so let me show you how to throw it just a second here okay so what you're gonna do here I'll do I'll do this okay so how you're going to use this is you're going to put your finger in the loop. I prefer the fourth finger. It's the easiest. Maybe third. Third sometimes. And then I'll hold the other one with my hand, with the same hand here. And then I will put the stone. There's a few ways to throw this. I'll put the stone or rock or ball, whatever, in here. And then I hold it here. This is how I throw it because I think it's the easiest. I hold it here. And then I just swing it like three times. And then... When I, on my third swing, I swing it as hard as I can, and I let go of this knot, and so it's like that, and that flings the rock out. A few other ways that are harder are you do the same thing, only you swing it in a circle. Um, but yeah, I think the easiest that I found was just to uh, hold it here and go like this, and then, yeah. So, that's pretty easy. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys liked my video. Make sure you like and subscribe. See ya.